Hey, welcome back to one of my Instagram stories. I'm sorry that this weekend I was meant to do a, two videos. I actually even got the cover pages done and everything, but went to Madrid and couldn't do it, basically. I was super busy with the whole film and beer. I'll try to post some pictures on um, this video, but it was great fun. And um, yeah, this video is gonna be um, a little in the middle of what I wanted to do, but I saw uh, Mike Yannick's video yesterday about how to start shooting film, and I thought, it was a great video and um, yeah, I know I need to sleep. And basically he gave some really good insight, but I feel like he left at the very end something I would like to add. So I asked him if it was okay and he said it was fine. So I'm gonna make a little video as a follow up to what he started. Um, if you guys don't follow him, he's um, Mike Yannick on um, Twitter, doesn't have Instagram. And that's the video title I get. I, I make, I recommend you guys go follow him. He's super fresh. His videos are fun, straight to the point. Um, he knows what he's talking about and I really enjoy his channel. So if you guys wanna see more about him, I would recommend you follow him. Then basically what he talked about, he went through the whole what camera to buy, um, if you wanna go black and white or you wanna go color, what ISO, how to meter. Very simple um, concepts that I think are important to teach the younger people or the new people into film as most people are doing, oh, the letters are all the other way around, so sorry, well, it'll be okay on YouTube. And um, basically, I think it's important to make these videos about how to start shooting film, as most of us already know and are doing videos for those that didn't know, but there's a lot of people that don't. So I give thumbs up to Mike for starting a video like that, and I just wanna continue. So after he said all of what he said in his video, which I'll link below, I recommend that one goes ahead and not only the first roll or the second roll will be bad, but you guys should buy new film, okay? If you're starting off, it's easy to go for the cheaper everything and buy a cheap camera and not use a light meter, maybe use your phone and everything like that. But also people are tempted to buy uh, cheaper film and cheaper film usually means or used to mean expired film. So if you're starting and you don't know what you're doing in photography or film photography, I don't recommend you guys go straight into expired film because you won't know if you're doing something right or your camera's right or your metering is right and things will might not look as good as you want them. So yeah, if you can and you wanna start, start with new fresh film, there's cheap film out there. Like um, Kodak has their gold, they have the Color Plus, the Fuji has the, I think it's Superia. In slide film, you have the Agfa Precisa, Precisa. I don't know how to say it in English, sorry. Um, then you have other films that are cheap, you know, and um, I think in Japan, they have some Fuji industrial film. Parallax in London sells it, it's like ISO 400. So yeah, don't go for expired film, buy new. So that way you know that your film is not the issue. It might be your camera or you or the lab. And that's for the second question I would, or the second thing I would say is use a good lab. Don't go cheap on, you know, a one hour um, developing. Unless you know or friends have told you that they're good, don't go with that. Go to a proper lab that uses fresh chemistry, that uses um, equipment that's maintained properly. So you also know that the lab is not doing it wrong. A lot of people will go to the lab that's cheap and the, and the lab will say the film was expired or you're not do, knowing what you're doing and you'll just go on Facebook and basically have a bunch of you know problems and um, saying, oh, my lab did this, they say it's my camera, it say this. So you guys just go straight for a new film and take it to a good lab and from there, you know, just try to like see what happens, see if you learn. And yeah, your first roll, like he said, is gonna be bad. Your second roll will be horrible. I can't post on Instagram um, video, but I, you should see my first rolls of uh, film. And I actually went for slide film, which is even harder. So yeah, I know professional film is way more expensive. I, I don't even shoot portrait anymore. I used to, and I even have some boxes around here, but nowadays I shoot cheap color film because I, I don't think it's worth it. I shoot black and white mostly, so that's for me. And yeah, so those are my two recommendations after Mike's video. You can watch it and then just buy new film and develop it a proper lab. And if you really wanna get into it and learn, you can develop your own film, especially black and white, as it's pretty easy. But that involves more problems that can happen and you won't know what's going wrong. Start with a the lab. They're not cheap for black and white, but start with that kind of um, 
process and then from there slowly as your pictures are working and you're liking what you're doing you can start adding you know I develop at home you can use all kinds of things like that so yeah that's all I wanted to talk about today um, Mike make this made this video though it just triggered my head I was like oh wait I think he should say that so instead of telling him or whatever I asked him if it was okay if I made a follow-up video if you guys like this, I might do it with other videos that I think are great, but maybe forget something as we all always forget a little something when we make um, YouTube videos. And um, if you like it, let me know and I'll maybe try to do it from other people. Always asking permission as I don't think it's nice to do it without asking as they're, they're, it's their work. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. I'll be talking about the Fuji GF670 and uh, the whole news about B&H uh, selling them new old stock that Fuji found in their warehouse. I have the camera, I bought it twice actually for a friend, and I'll give my insight about the camera, how I liked it, what problems I had, and so on. So yeah, learning to develop black and white film yourself is a great learning experience. Yep, social collapse, um, it is a great experience, but if you really don't know what you're doing, I recommend start with a lab. Make sure your camera and your light metering or metering is right and then go for yourself. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video tomorrow with the Fuji GF680.